Thing to one of our other top stories, an early morning police chase through two jurisdictions ended with the driver shot. Yeah, this all started in Dunwoody, where officers chased the driver of a stolen vehicle into the city of Brookhaven. Atlanta News First reporter Rebecca Schramm has been on the story since it first started to unfold. So, Rebecca, you're learning some new de new details. I am Rick and Joy. Good afternoon to you. The whole thing started here in the area of Perimeter Mall in the city of Dunwoody. I want to show you something because you see that strange device there tethered to that light pole. Well, this is a license plate reader called a flock camera. This one or one just like it in this area captured the information that set this morning's events into motion. This was the scene for hours in Brookhaven on Ashford Dunwoody Road and Ashford Club Court, right next to Paige Miller's house. I heard a, a weird noise that sounded like a car was slowing down or something. And then uh, one shot, and then after that, multiple shots. It all started at about 7 a.m. a few miles away in Dunwoody when a license plate reader alerted police that a stolen Dodge Challenger was in the area. Police encountered that car at the intersection of Ashford Dunwoody and Perimeter Center East. When they attempted to stop it, uh, the vehicle willfully rammed two of our police cars. Officers chased the car three or four miles into the city of Brookhaven. The suspect wrecked his vehicle, bailed on foot. During that uh, foot chase, he produced a firearm and our officers fired shots at him. At least one bullet struck the driver, wounding him. We saw at least 41 evidence markers at the scene, many of them placed near bullet shell casings. At about mid-morning, agents from the Georgia Bureau of Investigation arrived on the scene to take over the investigation. Neighbors tell us with as much early morning school and work traffic on that stretch of Ashford Dunwoody, the situation could have been much worse. Oh, very glad no one else was hurt. And police tell me at last check, the driver was still alive and in the hospital. I'm working to find out his name. The officers who fired their guns are on routine administrative leave. We'll let you know when the GBI releases its findings. Live in Dunwoody, Rebecca Schram, Atlanta News First.